Hi, I'm Mike with RF Safe. If you're new to us, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons below the video. If you're a return visitor, welcome back. This is another in a series of videos where we cover the latest news and studies on cell phone radiation. So are SAR levels important? SAR, which stands for Specific Absorption Rate, refers to the rate at which your body absorbs radio frequency radiation from your cell phone. The FCC has set limits on how much of this radiation cell phones are allowed to emit. Every cell phone has an SAR rating, and cell phone manufacturers are required to test each phone model to be sure that it stays within the FCC limit. Many people are, of course, interested in buying the phone that has the lowest SAR rating, so they are exposed to the least amount of radiation possible. Now, that sounds like a reasonable idea, don't you think? Truth of the matter is that SAR ratings are completely meaningless. Here's why. All cell phone manufacturers have their phones tested with the sensor of the testing equipment placed at various distances from the actual phone, usually between 5 and 15 millimeters away. This is because these distances were decided upon years ago when cell phones were a new technology and were so large that people had to carry them in belt-mounted holsters because they could not fit them in their pockets. Uh, 5 to 15 millimeters accounts for the distance between the phone and the body at that time. Even though cell phones are now small enough to fit in anyone's pocket, the FCC has not bothered to update their guidelines at all. The cell phone manufacturers couldn't be happier, of course, because they don't have to test their phones with the sensors pressed right up against the phone to exactly mimic the way that people hold their cell phones pressed right up against their heads when they're using them. Because of this, the manufacturers get to claim that the amount of radiation being emitted by their phones is completely safe and within the FCC guidelines. However, if you check through your phone's instruction manual, uh, you will find, usually buried deep inside, a warning that instructs you to keep your phone between 5 and 15 millimeters away from your body, uh, with the exact distance depending upon the manufacturer of the phone. It seems to me that this is an admission by the manufacturers that they know full well that their phones are emitting dangerous levels of radiation. The Chicago Tribune recently published a bombshell report showing the results of tests they had performed on several different models of currently popular cell phones, uh, founding that uh, the phones were emitting levels of radiation that far exceeded the FCC guidelines, in some cases by up to 500%. The takeaway from all this is that you shouldn't really be relying on SAR readings in your decision-making process when it comes to uh, which particular cell phone you should buy. The only thing you should be taking into account is how good the speakerphone feature is on the phone, as using the speakerphone and setting the phone down away from you is the only sure way to guarantee that you are being exposed to the least amount of radiation possible. If you can't use the speakerphone feature and you can't achieve that critical factor of distance between you and the phone, be sure you have an RF Safe anti radiation case for your phone. RF Safe makes the best anti radiation cases in the world and has been the leader in providing anti radiation shielding for cell phones for over 20 years. In closing, please remember to hit the notification button to be sure that you don't miss out on any new videos, news, or other important information. Also, remember to visit us at rfsafe.com as well as our other social media outlets, such as Facebook and Twitter. Be sure to check back often so that you and your loved ones can continue to learn how to reduce excessive exposure to cell phone radiation. More videos will be coming soon. Thank you very much for watching.